three plays, barring a timeout. It might be his but something that, in his left arm, as you mentioned. Yeah. Morty. Well, and watching it again, it looked like oh, that's the not... left elbow hit first, and that's the kind of injury, like the nature of that mechanism, can lead to a, a shoulder separation, like as it it jolts up where the the humerus or upper arm meets the distal end of the clavicle. Rod, I'm Thank you, Dr. Ford. Just citing some of my Anatomy 220 learnings. Just, just such terrible news if this injury takes Vernon Adams out of play for even one game, even a couple of days. I just hate to see that. He's a star in this league. The Alouettes need him. Third and one. Could be ball game here if Schiltz off the sideline can't get it. And he will. Uses that big six foot two inch body to get the first down. Uh, they got a terrific push on the right side of that offensive line. Fullback Spencer Moore in there as well, helping move some bodies. Well, last week it was. A ridiculous comeback led by Vernon Adams. Can their backup do it now? Schiltz looks. Little pink there. Out of the backfield again is Artis Payne. Sets up second down once more. Clock ticks down to 150. Schiltz only 10 attempts, six completions. Zero and zero under touchdowns and interceptions. Remember, not too long ago, a couple of years ago, Matthew Schiltz was thrown right into the fire here in Montreal. As a number of quarterbacks have been post Anthony Calvillo. Far side, got his guy. Oh, and breaking free. Hey on Julian Grant, but you can hear the whistle. You can hear the whistle. They're going to mark him out at the 47-yard line. You heard the whistle. 128 left, but how about hey on Julian Grant, former CNFX star, what a catch in. Yeah, just right hit there. the sidelines right there, the left foot. So here's the key for Montreal. David Cote has been money in field goals, but he has not made a field goal beyond 50 yards this season. 0 for 2. They have to move this ball closer. Artis Payne does that he's second down coming up so yeah time from this place on the field not so much of an issue this would Montreal. be about a, this would be about a 50 yarder 40 if they didn't gain anything else here might be Cote's range Second down, big drop, Schiltz, oh, crossing pattern, and B.J. Cunningham, huge first down. Now they've got time not only to put it in field goal position, Dwayne, they've got a chance to go after victory. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. I, I don't think that with about a minute 20 left, you see B.J. Cunningham coming out of the slot, working underneath. Seemed to get lost in coverage there. But I think Montreal all along, from the time Matthew Schultz came in, has been thinking touchdown, not field goal. Schultz now, up the middle, down inside, the five-yard line. Off the sideline, Matthew Schultz trying to lead the Owls to victory. This place is erupting now. How about this call? Yeah, Matthew Schultz. Certainly doing his part, throwing a couple of big strikes, and now a terrific run. Put them down around the Ottawa six-yard line. Where Butler, Bulldog, five receivers out. They'll give it to Artis Payne. Goes to the end zone. Touchdown, Montreal. Touchdown, Cameron Artis Payne. That's a pretty good debut, I'd say. Now, we've been saying it about Cameron Artis Payne all game. 
he has delivered in the absence of William Stanback. But how about the situation in which Matthew Schiltz was placed in this football game? Most critical moments. And he strings together a series of perfect plays to put the Alouettes into the lead. A former Carolina Panther. Now an Alouette. Massive drive. Huge drive and burst to the end zone.